Chapter 4 The sons of Judah were Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. And Reiah the son of Shobal begot Jehath, and Jehath begot Ahumai and Lehad. These were the families of the Zorathites. These were the sons of the father of Etam, Jezreel, Ishma, and Idbash. And the name of their sister was Hazelelponai. And Penuel was the father of Gidor, and Ezer was the father of Husha. These were the sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah, the father of Bethlehem. And Ashur, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hila and Neorah. Neorah bore him Ahuzam, Hefer, Timonai, and Heahashtarai. These were the sons of Neorah. The sons of Hila were Zereth, Zohar, and Ethnan. And Koz begot Enub, Zobiba, and the families of Aharhel, the son of Harum. Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. Chilub, the brother of Shuha, begot Mihir, who was the father of Eshton. And Eshton begot beth Repha, Pasia, and Tehina, the father of ir Nehash. These were the men of Rika. The sons of Kenaz were Othniel and Sariah. The sons of Othniel were Hethath, and Meonathai, who begot Ophrah, Seraiah, begot Joab, the father of Geharashim, for they were craftsmen. The sons of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, were Iru, Elah, and Naam. The son of Elah was Kenaz. The sons of Jehaliel were Ziph, Zipha, Tiria, and Azarel. The sons of Ezra were Jether, Mered, Epher, and Jelon. And Mered's wife bore Miriam, Shammai, and Ishba, the father of Estemoa. His wife Jehudaijah bore Jered, the father of Gidor, Heber, the father of Soko, and Jacuthiel, the father of Zanoa. And these were the sons of Bithia, the daughter of Pharaoh, whom Mered took. The sons of Hodiah's wife, the sister of Neham, were the fathers of Keila, the Garmite, and of Ishtemoa, the Meachathite. And the sons of Shimon were Amnon, Rina, Ben-Hanan, and Tylon. And the sons of Ishai were Zoheth and Ben-Zoheth. The sons of Shelah, the son of Judah, were Er, the father of Lecha, Leda, the father of Marisha, and the families of the house of the linen workers of the house of Ashbia. Also Jokim, the men of Korziba, and Joash, Saraf, who ruled in Moab, and Jashu by Lechem. Now the records are ancient. These were the potters and those who dwell at Nataim and Gedira. There they dwelt with the king for his work. The sons of Simeon were Nemuel, Jamin, Jerib, Zira, and Sheul. Shalom his son, Mibsam his son, and Mishma his son. And the sons of Mishma were Hamuel his son, Zakur his son, and Shimei his son. Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters. But his brothers did not have many children, nor did any of their families multiply as much as the children of Judah. They dwelt at Beersheba, Molada, Hazar Shual, Bilha, Ezem, Tolad, Bethuel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Shusim, Beth Biri, and at Shearim. These were their cities until the reign of David, and their villages were Etam, Ain, Rimon, Tochen, and Ashan, five cities. And all the villages that were around these cities as far as Baal, these were their dwelling places, and they maintained their genealogy. Meshobab, Jamlech, and Josha, the sons of Amaziah, Joel, and Jehu, the son of Joshabiah, the son of Seraiah, the son of Asiel, Elioenai, Jeacoba, Jeshkohiah, Asaiah, Adiel, Simiel, and Benaiah, Ziza, the son of Shiphai, the son of Alon, the son of Jediah, the son of Shimrai, the son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by name were leaders in their families, and their father's house increased greatly. So they went to the entrance of Gidor, as far as the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. And they found rich good pasture, and the land was broad, quiet, and peaceful, for some Hamites formerly lived there. These recorded by name came in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah, and they attacked their tents and the Meunites who were found there, and utterly destroyed them, as it is to this day. 
So they dwelt in their place, because there was pasture for their flocks there. Now some of them, five hundred men of the sons of Simeon, went to Mount Seir, having as their captains Pelatiah, Neariah, Nephaiah, and Uziel the sons of Eshai. And they defeated the rest of the Amalekites who had escaped. They have dwelt there to this day.